I was feeling a bit disappointed because I, know, I thought it was just going to be a full barrel fest pretty much. The other guys, yeah, Harry and Jacob pretty much said the exact same thing. They were just, they were quite rattled as well, like super over it. And we're like, screw this place. It's like, try find another wave that doesn't have like 100 dudes out. The ways of pumping, it would have been great if it was only us three guys out. Even though the waves were pumping, we were like, nah, let's find somewhere else. Like, there's got to be other waves around here. So we pretty much just hopped in the car and headed in the opposite direction. We had no idea where we were and we just kind of explored off the beaten track. You hold on hard, getting knocked around, hold on and take a blow right to your face. Followed a dirt road as long as it could go. It's got a nice corner, like it's Oh, that thing just pitted. The stain of blood, could have sworn I saw you go for another taste. Black and blue and dripping red, a sweeter pain than the words inside your head. To be said out loud, give me sweat and scars and a shining coat of armor. comes in from really deep water and it just hits this shelf and jacks up. Basically it just goes too shallow and there's a really good air section off, off the end of the wave. I was happy to just be doing a few little airs as well. That was good for, good for my confidence. I only broke my ankle about six months ago. I don't know, I've probably been a little bit naughty trying to few on this trip, but it's felt fine. Two faceless friends with iron fists for hair. such a rare thing to know like before you even take off you're going to get a little pit and then it's going to hit a ramp in the exact same spot every single time. Such a progressive wave it was like yeah hitting a snowboard jump over and over just knowing you could almost spot just spotting your takeoff every single time it's just the landing was sometimes different in my eyes that's something so rare to find. I don't know, each time we paddle back out, we'll just watch our mate pull into a pit or do a huge punt and just we're pretty much screaming the entire surf. Having one idea in mind and you end up stumbling across something completely different but it ends up being way better than what you expected. This trip's opened my eyes to really, really just want to search around the corner. Always look, drive around the next headland because you just never know what you're going to find. Oh, your ring is already burning. <laughs> it's just straight chilly, eh? It's good no, a dig. bit of chalk there, I think. Hot. Oh. Hot? Is it hot? Not <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>